so we're undefeated here. Um, we've got a little tutorial for you guys. So, um, to begin with, this is a substance painter, just came to Steam, and it's, well, I have just fallen in love with it. Um, what I'm going to do is see if I'm running guys through the basics and seeing about a few things to avoid when importing a mesh, because um, I tried importing a mesh before and, well, couldn't paint on it, so that was an issue. Um, but yeah, there's workarounds for that. Alright, to start with, um, I'm going to go, with, go over some of the uh, things you shouldn't do when importing a mesh, when, with a mesh when you're importing into here. Just the mesh beforehand, before importing, that is. So, first things first, you need one singular mesh. Just not multiple pieces of mesh, just one combined mesh. Keep the UVs clean, as in make sure they don't overlap each other, unless you're doing that on purpose. And, and lastly, um, you would want to avoid having multiple materials because that either multiple meshes or multiple materials on a mesh will avoid you being able to paint on anything. Mind you, that's basically how it should be working anyway with painting in a program like this, so I, I have no issue with that. Okay, so to start, so no, navigation basics, let's see. So hold Alt down and you can rotate around a bit. A little left, left click, um, right click to zoom in and out. Middle mouse click to to uh, pan around, and um, yeah, that's uh, just like Maya. If you've used Maya, then you'd be very familiar with that. Um, next thing along is uh, let's actually start some painting. So brushes. Um, this is a lovely selection here already. Um, you can import your own very easily, so that's that's fine. So we see artistic. So we can already start painting something on here, and yeah, it looks. Rather nice so far, I'm, I'm gonna say. Um, and you can just try different brushes. You can make them bigger by the size button over here. So there's a tool, and even show you the preview of the tool itself. I personally think this guy's an amazing job with this tool. Okay, well done. Um, now, the next thing along is um, so that's this painting. Now, you can change the color just by going down here. And actually, important thing. You can turn each of these sections off, like, okay, so you've got Diffuse, which you can turn on and off, that changes the color you can change. So change whatever whatever mask goes over it. By clicking this, um, you get Height, and Rough, and Metal. I'll go over those in a bit. First off, just Diffuse. So Diffuse is just the color. Change your, it'll change your mask color and everything like that. And that's, that's the mesh so far. Um, now. Now, also for like, say if you get rid of diffuse, then you just got on a gray scale, which is good for other things, let's say. But like, for if it's different, like height for normal mapping or just roughness, and those are just for you. Um, height, okay, let's change this a little bit. Now, if I'm correct, it doesn't automatically show the normal maps. However, if you if you right click and go, I think it's. No, it's in the view, view thing here. No, it's already showing mesh normal. So the height is basically just the... I don't remember if the normals or actually effects normals and the uh, texturing as well. But... Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see. Uh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's, oh, yep, there you go. Got a bit of like height mapping here. Like bump mapping-ish. Um, now the next one down is literally just roughness. So it's just like how much shine you want to have on your object. The, like, the more rough, the less shine. It's like how rough a surface would be. Yeah, see, so it's showing the high map a bit better now. Um, metallic is just, I guess it depends on how shiny you want it, like how the shine to look. Like that bump you see there, you can have it as shiny as you want. Crank it up all the way, and you have it like, it's a freaking it's liquid silver or something. Um, okay, next thing along is, I think, one of the coolest damn things. Um, so let's go to the physics brushes. These are amazing. Um, okay, so let's choose burn, for instance. Physics brushes, they use particles to paint, and they act like a certain particle way. Uh, let's choose a certain color. Uh, let's go with uh, yellow. Actually, dark yellow is like, it sort of looks greenish, um, color white. Um, so as we're doing that, make a new layer, so it's like, it's like layers like in Photoshop, just so you know. Alright, so let's start up, so you click and drag, and you'll see you start shooting particles on, and it does like a burning sort of texture. 
and how how awesome is that? Um, let's, go, let's go up a bit further. So I got the blue there. So yeah, see what's doing? It's making a nice uh, fire texture. You see, it, it might grain a little bit from here. Let's see, it looks like it's doing some strange things, but hey, it's nice things to do. I think it can also temper it a little bit with these things, advanced physics settings down here, if you need. Um, the next, and I'd say, like, you can also broken glass, and actually, before I do that, actually click on anything, paint materials. These are, these are like preset things you can use. Let's see, pure mirror. Let's see, it does preset there. Just like that, and got a very nice uh, shine here going with the, uh, well, that's, just, that's the mirror sort of thing going on there. Ooh, got gold. Okay. So let's try another piece of fix brush, like, I think one of my favorite, one of my favorite ones has to be, uh, the puddle. And it affects, like, what's currently on there, I think. Yeah, I think it is. It's making it slightly shinier in certain areas. I, I hope it's what's doing. No, actually, it's congealing in certain areas. That's actually, that is very cool. That's, I mean, you can do this in, like, N-do or D-do, but, oh my god, you can do it physically now. Um... So things like the stencil materials, like, uh, like whatever, let's try that now. Actually, let's try a different thing with that. Uh, liquid stream. Okay, what's that doing? Alright, let's see. So basically it's just stenciling that uh, texture of the material on there. Actually, uh, yeah, that's also, yeah, it's the material sort of thing. We also have a, like a different stencil or brush or something like that to go with it. So let's go, let's go leather with that. Walls, um... Here we have like a leathery, so I think it's like a leather, leather texture on the actual gold texture here. We'll see in a moment. So I guess it's an actual, like an actual uh, fill brush, as it's called, I think. Yep, there you go. Wow. Right, right, um, that is, this is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is one of, uh, like, Arrhythmic makes some of the coolest programs I've ever run into, like, for texture editing ever. We okay, um, so that's some of that. Uh, that's, I think that feels part of like UV map, so keep that in mind. That's a powerful tool right there. Um, okay, so well, I'm getting carried away with that. Uh, that's most of the features of like the brush. You got like things like the eraser, go back a layer, and go blending. So I choose this and go multiply. See, someone docking out right now. That's because it's kind of in beta, so. Keep that in mind. They like, be kind to the guys. They, they're working the hardest on it. So, yeah, there you go. Got something weird happening there. Uh, it was a change from my like, height map to a diffuse map. And, yeah. Uh, actually, no, not. You can change, like, oh, that's cool. So you can change the, the diffuse blending. Then you can also change, like, the height blending or metallic blending or whatever you feel like. How cool is that? Um, so, next thing along. Um, uh, this is the little things like uh, image, image sens sensing. Um, let's get this on. Oh, that's. Let's try this now. Uh, it's sort of working. Uh, I think it's a different effect to what I was after. Or, no, it's just I haven't worked with it yet. You know that. I was being jerk. Um, now, the next thing, now there's also like little tools here. Um, which are somewhat fun, some of them are pretty fun, like a bullet impact, just like immediately you have a very nice bullet impact, bullet, bullet casing there. So you can basically just stencil something on like that. Just on the mesh. I, I personally like quite a, lot, quite a lot. Yes. Okay, now the next thing I'll, now we even have, yeah, I think that's the eraser right there as a tool itself. Uh, oil leaks, which, yeah, I think that's sort of a nice thing. And yeah, the like screwball thing is just a preset of like, hey, you can put something like this on. As I mentioned, like stenciling. I assume you can make your own, but yeah. Particle editors and things are coming a long way apparently. Um, like, it's all those particle physics brushes. Yeah, you can, they're working on some of those, so. Yeah, keep, keep in tune for that. Um, so those are the very basics and sort of the about stuff. The touching the base, like the surface of that, and um, yeah, I personally would love to see what everyone come out with. That's some um, actually, actually, before I end, 
the last thing I need to do. To show you how to export. And okay, so of course, you can also choose like the size of your um, export or like overall texture. So if you need to export, just go. I think you know export all channels here and choose like the channels you want to export and just yeah, click export, do your thing. Hi. And now it's just doing doing work for you. Yep, there you go. And lo and behold, uh, press the wrong button. Uh, lo and behold, you should have textures here. Here are my fellow humans. And yeah, have fun with this tool. It's just, I swear, it's the next big thing.